Hello, amazing people. Today I am playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. And oh yeah, I threw in amazing people today. I don't normally do flashy and shows like that, but I decided, hey, why not? So let's get started. This is a Nintendo game, which is strange why any person on YouTube would be doing one, but I decided, hey, I'm not making money off it. Let's do it. So let's play some Phoenix Wright. Let's do some attorneying, some lawyering. Episode 1, the first turnabout. Um, let's shoot. Yeah, confirm, I guess. I don't really have a choice, I don't think. <laughs> oh, it's a trophy with blood on it that looks kind of pink. Oh no, it's a woman. Damn it, why me? I'm not even sure it's a guy talking, but I just decided that I can't get caught. No, not like this. I've got to find someone to pin this on. What? What kind of case is this? Or if we already know who the killer is. Someone like him. Who's that? I'll make it look like he did it. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. Um, can I just say A? Alright, cool. Boy, am I nervous. Right! Oh, that's a girl's voice, my bad, Mia. Right. Oh, hiya, Chief. Woo, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial off the bat like this. That says a lot about you, and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. That's my sexy lady voice in case you guys are like, why is he talking like that? I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. I'm not sure if this guy or girl. I'll just do my normal voice and it's over! That's not my normal voice. My life, everything, it's all over. Isn't that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's him. Death, despair, oh. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna die. It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Nick. Hey, hey, there you Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty, tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence, I can't afford to die. I ain't afraid to die. What, what's wrong Larry? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Look at this guy, with the tears and everything, my goodness. I'm finished, finished. I can't live in a world without her, I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Mm hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspaper says it was you. Oh, snaps. It wasn't even Butts, Buzz. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Oh, that sucks, man. I would hate to get like pinned on for killing like someone I love. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts, my best friend since grade school. Oh, look at this guy. He is just cracking under pressure. He's sweating bullets. He looks like a Wubba Fett, his mouth. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the Buds. Butts. His name is Butts. What a weird name. I'm the 23 years, in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, is it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Jeez, seriously. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. Alright. August 3rd, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court. Courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright. This is your first trial, is it not? Uh, yes, Your Honor. 
I'm uh, a little nervous. Your conduct, your conduct during this trial would decide the fate of the, your client. I almost broke out of RP right there. Kind of dead right now, but I want to stay in RP. Murder is a serious charge for your client's sake. I hope you can control your nerves. Thanks. Thank you, Your Honor. That's right. Given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Hand shaking, eye slight, fading. Jeez, I am a mess out of nowhere, and my I look, my neck is gone. What the heck? The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. The defendant is Larry, my boy. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is Murder Child. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Whew, I know, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... wait. Uh... uh, uh. <laughs> No, no way, I forgot. I'm showing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. What am I doing? Am I smacking my head against the table or something? Oh, the victim? Uh, of course I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily, I think. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the defendant's name is listed on the court record. Just touch the court record button on to check it any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Let's hear your answer. Who is the victim in this case? Cinder block, Cindy Stone. It's I'm pretty sure it's Cindy Stone, but let me check the court record. Cindy's autopsy. All right, so it's Cindy. Attorney's badge. It's one of my possessions. I don't think I need that. What is this evidence? How's this evidence? This is my suit. Must be just things in my suitcase. It's Cindy. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... Hit with a blunt object. Because I know who the murderer is already. This is crazy. But it must be... It's gonna be like a really hard case probably if I already know who the murderer is. You've answered my questions. I see no reason why we should proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well, then... First, a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Alright, cool. More evidence. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. The evidence is the only ammunition you have in this court. Touch a court record button to check the court record frequently. Okay. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what what do I... Oh, oh that's not her. Why would it show her and put Phoenix away? I don't know. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get the chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. I know, he's sweating bullets. Oh, snaps, he actually posed right there. <laughs> he was composed, what the heck? Ahem. <laughs> Mr. Butts? Is it not true that the victim has recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were gay together. We were Romeo and Juliet. Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Is that right? Uh, <laughs> didn't they all die? I was a dumb. She just wasn't t taking my phone calls or seeing me ever. What's it to you, anyway? Those are butts. What you described is generally what we mean by dumb. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Poor dude, they're just like hurting him even more just saying the worst thing. Your, your honor. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court record. Hmm, indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way! The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar? <laughs> Poor dude, he's... 
<laughs> they're like saying so much stuff that makes give him, they're giving him so much grief. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. Things that you could not, basically, you bastard. <laughs> she, she took her money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude, we can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right? I don't think you want to, him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a kind of a way of kind of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I wait to see what happens? Stop him from answering. I guess I should be realistic. If I know he has a habit of like ruining things by talking too much, I should stop him from answering. A client had no idea that a victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheat and she dug off. Oh, come on, Larry, what the heck? I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe that Q's motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's... I'm, I hope I did the right thing. It seems like not because you went ballistic anyways, but we'll see. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Mm -hmm. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh, uh, he went. What do I do? I'll, let, I'll have him answer honestly. Because he obviously didn't do anything wrong. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. Er, uh, yeah, yeah. I was there. I went. Oh my gosh, this is looking terrible. <laughs> Order. Well, Mr. Butts? Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. <laughs> Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? Prosecute. The prosecution will like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matter. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He, s he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Oh, son of a god, it's that dude at the mole. It's a real bad guy, jeez. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sweating in real life. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Saltwit to the stand. Is it that dude with the mole? Man, I want to kill- Oh, it is a bastard. I I do not mind hitting him in the face. Mr. Shawit. I saw wit. You sell newspaper subscriptions. Is it correct? Well, maybe I should be RP and say Mr. Shawit, because I don't know how to say my own, like, person's name. Mr. Shawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Uh, yes. Newspapers, yes. Because SOBs sound like that. They just talk like that. Mr. Shawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Oh, look at this bastard. He has it already to say stuff. What a... Whatever, let's do this. I was going to door-to-door -door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman. Not moving. Dead. I qualied. Is that a word? Oh, I, qu I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 o'clock p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. Oh, I don't mind gouging your eyes out right now. Hmm. <clears throat> Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor. Oh, snaps. I gotta call it quits, but we'll continue next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this so far. Time is running out. Goodbye.